Kogi State Governor Yahya Beilu has assured that the demands of the labor unions in the state will be met before his tenure comes to an end. Governor Beilu made the promise at the Banquet Hall Government House in Lukoja when he received a delegation of the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, and civil servants in the state. Governor Bello commended the NLC and the entire state workers for their contribution so far to the success of the present administration and the progress of the state. Let's join our reporter for more. Kogi Governor Bello has directed the head of civil service, Hannah Odio, to table their demands for consideration, emphasizing that all their requests will be met as soon as the finances are available. He also approved the first 28 days allowances for the permanent secretaries and assure them to receive the payment before the week's end. Whatever a government, especially mine, I can do to make life easier for our citizens, for all of you, it will go down in record that this is an achievement under GYB. Yes. And I want to achieve more, and I will continue to achieve more even long after I leave office. For all of you. So, we will attend to, if not all, your chatter of demands as long as or for as much as finances would permit. Governor Bolo further elaborated on the secret behind the just approved and release of wire fees for all Kogi students in government schools across the three senatorial districts of the state. He said with this development, all household in the state will be relieved of the burden. Last Friday's approval and release of funds for all our pupils that are writing WAIC in court. In one way or the other, every household in Kogi State has been touched. And we are going to ensure that we legislate over it and it becomes part of our law. <laughs> that shall be recorded as part of our achievement. The chairman of the Permanent Secretary's Forum, Salisu, said that Kogi civil servants are witnessing steady payments of salaries, which is the basic means of survival for any of them. His Excellency, that he to assist us by helping us, by giving us canons, because most of us are ready. We know you to be of good character. You have done much for almost all of us, but then, like our salary has never been regular before, but during your time, you have experienced that. Every 25th of every month, no civil servant here is complaining that you are not paying the salary. Correctly, I can it, so God will be you. Oh, this one I've just mentioned, sir. The head of service, Hannah Odia, appreciated God and commended Governor Yaya Bello's good gestures towards civil servants and infrastructure development across the three senatorial districts. So we can go on and on and count our blessings under the GYB administration. We say thank you, sir. <laughs> the reasons are no more far-fetched. Why I believe that the workforce of Kogi State will heartily pitch their tent with your excellency in terms of who will take over from you to continue the good work. However, I am not going to speak for them and I will not pre preempt their minds. I'm sure when the time comes, they will speak for themselves. But from what I can see and sense, they will not hesitate to pinch their tent where you are, sir. And where you are going. According to APC Kogi State Chairman Abdullah Himbelu, civil servants in the state have resolved to work for APC and there is no division amongst them. Your Excellency, this is informed by your style of leadership. They have come to add their voice to all progressive Congress. November 11 is around the corner. Inshallah, they will all trip out to support our own, our brand, Ahmed Usman Ododo. 
The union executives commended Governor Yaya Bello for step taking to ensure leave and promotion areas are financially considered. I don't want to dwell much on the legacy project the Excellency has done for Kogi State. Most especially if I'm applying that flyover, honestly speaking, especially in the night, I pray for His Excellency. And God is going to answer our prayer. I don't want to preempt what you have for us. But if I can spy a little bit, uh, I know by the special grace of God, the civil servants that are here, they are not ready to buy their papers. A lot of workers that are so dedicated because of your track record. I want to remember the very time you resume office, you took your time to sanitize State civil service by taking your time to walk to the state secretariat to have assessment of the environment, the fencing which you have done is part of those things you promised that time. We want to thank you for taking your time to do that. Now, this subsidy removal has brought untold hardship on us, and it's still they want to prove their own part of the coin by being dedicated to work. In some states, we've had how number of days are reduced, but Kogi State workers kept steadfast going to work, even though the cost of transition is very high. So the 35%, 35,000 wage award, if granted, will lead into the memory lane, even when you are in the office. Thank you. We call for more mutual relationship between the government and labor union. I am Faith Abdugafa reporting for MSC TV.